Okay, this one is the uh, fallacy of affirming the consequences. Uh, for the first uh, case, we have uh, P implies Q. Okay, uh, and uh, Q in, uh, implies uh, P. Uh, as a conclusion, we have P. Uh, it's not a tautology. <coughs> okay, uh, because uh, tautology, as you can see, uh, or as you can remember, eh, tautology, all the truth value uh, is uh, basically is true. Eh? <coughs> Therefore, uh, not a rule of uh, inferences eh? because uh, it is uh, not a tautology. Okay, <coughs> and then uh, affirming that consequences uh, is a fallacious form of reasoning in which uh, the converse of the true conditional statement. Eh? If ten statement it is said to be true, in other words, it is assumed that the proposition A then B is true, then if B then A is true as well. That's a logical form uh, if X then Y. Okay, we have uh, here. <coughs> Okay, this one uh, you need to compare with the model spawner and model stolen. Okay, uh, the second one is circular reasoning. One uh, or more steps uh, of the proof are based upon the truth uh, of the statement being proved, also known as uh, begging the questions. <coughs> okay, uh, we have uh, two, four, six, seven eh? method of proof. Eh? Uh, we have a uh, direct proof, indirect proof, virtuous uh, proof, uh, trivial proof, proof by contradiction, proof by cases, and existing proof. Huh? Okay, for the fallacy, eh? wait. Eh? Okay, if we say that uh, if A and B true, we can say it also if B Is true also. Eh? Thus, in logical form, that we can say that if x and y, okay, if x then y, okay, is same. Eh? Okay, a fallacy affirming that conclusion is incorrect. Eh? Uh, in uh, proving P implies Q uh, by starting the assuming uh, Q and proving P. Eh? For example, uh, show that uh, X plus Y is odd. Then uh, either X or Y is odd, but not both uh, are odd. Eh? Fallacy uh, of affirming the conclusion argument will start uh, assume uh, that uh, either X or Y is odd, eh? but not both uh, are odd. Eh? Okay, this one is uh, you start to question eh? questioning about the uh, true conditional statement. Eh? Again, uh, for example, if the lamp were broken, then the room were, would be dark. Okay, uh, and invalidly inferring that converse that the room uh, is dark, so the lamp uh, were broken. Eh? Okay, this one a uh, rule of uh, affirming, eh? affirming the consequence uh, example. Eh? Okay, for the circular uh, reasoning, okay, also known as a uh, circular logic. Eh? Okay, uh, we can name it as a uh, circular logic. Ok, 
Okay, because you need uh, the truth uh, value. Eh? Uh, uh, it, is, it is a logical fallacy which uh, the reasoner begin with, uh, they are begin, uh, they are trying to end with. Eh? Okay, uh, the component of circular argument are often logically and valid eh? because the prim if the premises are true, then conclusion must be true. Eh? Okay, we have a circular like this. A, we have A, and then we have B. If A, then B. If B, then A. Okay, uh, this form is, uh, we name it as a circular. Lah. Because uh, it's funny, look like circular. Okay, uh, what is the example of circular reasoning policy? Eh? Uh, for example, 18 years old have the right to vote because uh, it is legal uh, for them for to vote eh? to vote okay uh, this argument is circular because it goes right back to the beginning eh? 18 years old uh, have the right to vote because it is legal it is legal for them uh, to vote because they have right to vote eh? okay they have a circular yani okay yani mukat mukat boleh Elawatun boleh elawatun? 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 Boleh eh? Okay, the, uh, again, uh, this is circular logic eh? Uh, one or more step uh, proof are based upon the truth uh, of the statement being proved. Eh? Again, uh, for example, if the 18 years old have the right to vote because it is legal uh, to them to vote, uh, this argument can be circular because it goes back, right back to the beginning. Eh? 18 years old have the right to vote because it is legal. Uh, it is legal for them to vote because they have right to vote. Okay? Same. Eh? If A, then B. If B, then A. Eh? Circular. Eh? Okay, then uh, we look uh, again a uh, method of proof, and then we have the uh, proof basic. Okay, we want to establish the truth of P implies Q. Okay, P may be co conjunction eh, of the hypothesis. Okay, conjunction uh, by N. Eh. And then uh, P implies Q is conjunction until a proof is produced. Eh. Okay. okay, P, uh, T, and 3. True and true are true. True and false are false. False and true are false. Uh, false and false are true. Eh? Okay, we have a direct proof. Eh? Uh, this one is the first one. is direct proof. Uh, assume the hypothesis are true. Eh? Uh, use the rule of inferences. We have uh, uh, eight rule, uh, 10 rule of inferences. And any logic equivalences to establish the truth of the conclusion. How to write? Uh, if P is true, then Q has to be true for P implies Q to be true. Example, the proof we did earlier about the cows not eating artichokes was an example of a direct proof. Okay, direct proof. Okay. Okay, so far do you have any question? Okay, we have a uh, direct proof uh, and then also we uh, have indirect proof. Eh? Uh, direct proof assume that given hypothesis or any other statement, a uh, known statement and the logical deduces uh, a conclusion. Eh? On the other hand, uh, indirect proof, also known as a proof by contradiction, 
assumed by hypothesis is given together with the negation of the conclusion to this the contradictory statement. This one is direct proof. Huh? Okay. okay. And then uh, example uh, give a direct proof of theorem if n is uh, odd integer then n a power of 2 is uh, odd integer. Huh? Okay. Uh, using the following definition, if n is even, then exist integers such as uh, k uh, that n equal to 2k, and it, it is odd if there exists an integer k such that n equal to 2k plus 1. This one direct proof, eh? Okay, uh, so assume that hypothesis n is odd through Okay, since n is odd, then for some k, n equal to 2k plus 1. Now the conclusion n uh, power of 2 is odd uh, can be true. Lah. Okay, and then see, since the n uh, equal to 2m plus 1, then n uh, power of 2 is odd is true. The proof is complete. Lah. You need to, to have some proof. Lah. Okay, uh, you need to... To insert okay, you need to insert the proof statement or a variable to make uh, it is a proof. Huh? Okay, uh, other than that, uh, you can have the sum of two uh, even integer equal uh, an even integer. Okay, and then you can also have a Pythagoras theorem, and then you have the square uh, of odd uh, number is also odd. Okay. Okay, so far do you have any question? Ada soalan ke? This one is uh, basically is direct uh, because uh, proof is a sequence of statement. Uh, it comes uh, in two forms, uh, the given and uh, deductions. Okay. And then you have modest ponent, you have uh, modest tolerant, you have direct proof. Eh? Uh, direct proof is a sequence of statement which are either given or deduction from a previous statement and uh, whose last statement is the conclusion to be proven. Uh, the conclusion you need to be proven. Okay, uh, for example, uh, assume M and N also the odd number. Okay, this one is also same like this one. Uh, hypothesis is odd, and then this one, uh, how to say, uh, sequence statement. Okay, uh, conclusion. Eh? Conclusion need to be true. Conclusion, eh? uh, it must be uh, the final one will be the conclusion. Eh? Okay, and then uh, we have indirect proof. Eh? Indirect proof is uh, contrapositive. Uh, remember, uh, if you have uh, P implies Q is equivalent to negate Q uh, implies negate P. Eh? Uh, proof that uh, negate Q implies negate uh, P. Uh, negate Q is true. Example, Q is false. Huh? Use rule of inferences and logical equivalences to show that negate P is true. Example, P is false. Huh? Okay, we have a uh, direct proof. Uh, and then we have indirect proof, eh?
Okay, I give you an example eh? uh, for contrapositive. Eh? Uh, we have contrapositive and then we have a, a contradiction. Eh? Contradiction. Okay, uh, example, uh, given in direct proof of theorem, if uh, 3 plus, three n plus 2 is odd, then n is odd. Lah. Okay, uh, P, 3n uh, plus 2 is odd. We negate 3n uh, plus 2 is even eh, because we want to uh, negate. Eh. Okay, uh, and then uh, Q, uh, n is odd. Uh, negate Q, n is even. Eh. The contra positive is uh, negate uh, uh, n is odd in plus negative 3 plus 2 is odd. In other words, we can say n is even in plus 3n plus 2 is even. Lah. Okay, this one is an uh, example. Okay. Uh, assuming that hypothesis of contrapositive uh, n is even is true, then n uh, equal to 2k. Uh, you can say that uh, when you want to contrapositive, 3 n plus 2 is even true okay okay uh, after you put uh, the uh, the n equal to 2 you can say that uh, uh, 3 n plus 2 is even is true lah. okay the proof is complete Another, I give you another example. Eh? Okay, uh, if n uh, greater if n greater than zero. Uh, and for power of n minus one okay uh, is a prime is a prime number okay okay and then uh, n is odd Okay. Then you need to assume n equal to two k is even. Okay, how to do that? Nabiha, Nurin. Jadi Nabi Ha macam mana nak buat? Kita kena ni lah. Kita nak lihat macam mana nak buat ni. Siti, ada ke Siti Nariza? Tak ada dah? Aini Safina? Aini? Saya tak buka mic ke? Oh, macam mana nak buat ni? Tahu. Kita buat lah Kita masuk lah ni 4N Kita buat um, Minus 1 Is equal to Kita ganti lah We replace lah eh. 4K Minus 1 2K Minus 1 eh. Sorry 2K uh, Minus 1 Okay. Equal to for 
k minus 1 4k plus 1 ok and then uh, therefore you can say therefore ok you can say that 4n minus 1 uh, factors are both factor that okay, bigger than one okay uh, for this one this one is not a uh, prime okay this one is not prime okay even uh even uh, as you can see this one okay uh, uh Okay, and then you can have the conclusion. Eh? Conclusion. Okay, we see the another example. Uh, okay. Okay, it's a simple uh, example. Eh? Okay, you put the uh, n uh, true, and then you can say uh, uh, three plus three uh, n plus two is even. Eh? It's true. Eh? Uh, for this one is prime. Okay, for n plus i both factor that bigger than 1, you can say that uh, n equal to 2k is uh, even. Okay. And then uh, we have a vacuous proof. Eh? If you know that one of hypothesis uh, in P is false, then P implies Q is vacuously true. Eh? You can say that if F uh, implies true and false implies false are both true. Eh? Example, if I am both rich and poor, then a Hurricane Katrina was a mild breeze. Uh, the hypothesis P and, and negate P from the contradiction, uh, therefore Q follows from the hypothesis vacuously. Lah. Sometimes use the proof theorem to uh, to prove the uh, vacuous proof by using the universal quantification eh, for all. For example, we have uh, PO is true when PN, if N uh, greater than 1, then N the power of 2 is greater than N. Eh? Okay, and then uh, since the hypothesis uh, 0 is uh, greater than 1, it is false. P0 uh, P is automatically true. Eh? So uh, that we do not even pay attention to the conclusion uh, 0 power of uh, 2 greater than 0. Eh? Okay, this one is uh, uh, we name it as a vacuous proof. Eh? Okay, in, in other words, you can say that it is an extreme case of a false positive where your checkers say that everything is working fine while the other check, check, checkers checking is nothing uh, meaningful. Eh? Okay, you can say another example. Uh, if the uh, sun rises uh, in the north, and then everyone uh, get 100% in the final exam. It is true statement since the proposition uh, sun rises in the north is false huh? uh, because uh, you you have two eh? two hypotheses. One is false, then uh, you can say both uh, true. Eh? Okay, false implies true, and then false implies false are both true. Eh? Okay, and then we have trivial proof. If you know Q is true, then P implies Q is true. Uh, this one is a uh, uh, acronym for the uh, vacuous proof. Like. For example, if it's raining today, then the empty set is subset of every set. Then the assertion is trivially true, dependent, independent of the truth value of P. Like. Okay, this one is an uh, example. Okay. okay, what is the uh, difference between uh, uh, vacuous and uh, uh, trivial, trivial? A 
apa dia punya difference dia? Ah, boleh pakai kau true lah. Uh, a trivial uh, conjunction eh. Conjunction uh, okay and then vacuous uh, uh, true eh regardless uh, the truth value eh. Regardless the true value must be true lah. Okay. This one uh, trivial eh. False true and then uh, the second one is uh, uh, true implies true. Eh? For the trivial, uh, for the vacuous, uh, false implies false. Eh? Okay. False implies false. Okay. Uh, hypothesis P is false. Eh? Uh, for trivial, uh, P implies Q is true. Eh? True and implies true are both true's value. Eh? Okay, then uh, we have a uh, proof by contradiction. We want to prove that P implies Q, but if we can prove that uh, negative P implies a contradiction, uh, example, uh, Q is false no matter what or an absurd, uh, and then uh, find the contradiction Q such that uh, negative P implies Q are uh, equivalences of uh, negative P implies false uh, is equivalent to true. Consequently, if we show the contradiction, then the assumption uh, negative P is wrong eh, or false, that uh, so the P must be true. Eh. Okay, to prove that P is true, you have to show that negative P leads to the contradiction. Example, you have to prove that negative uh, P uh, is false, eh, is true. Okay, example, proof that uh, uh, is irrational. Uh, Okay, and then if uh, negative P is true, uh, and then uh, apa ni kata power of 2 eh, bukan. Punca kuasa eh, apa nama dia? Punca kuasa dalam bahasa Inggeris apa eh? Power source eh? Is it true? The proof that the power source of 2 is irrational. Betul ke? Kan power of 2 uh, uh, kuasa 2. Ni punca kuasa. Betul eh? Kamu pun pening kan dah lama Power source eh Power source 2 Hello uh, two. This one is power off one. Power Ni punca kuasa is irrational And then uh uh, what if the negative P is true? Uh, the power source of 2 is irrational. Eh? Does this lead to contradiction? Yes. Eh? If uh, power uh, source 2 is rational, then uh, for some A, uh, P integers such as power of source 2 is equal to A uh, divided by B, assuming R, A and B have no common factor. Then you can see as a conclusion a uh, divided by b then 2 a power of 2 divided by b power of 2 then 2 b power of 2 is equal to a power of 2 lah. since a uh, power of 2 equal to 2 uh, uh, b power of 2 then a power of 2 is even eh? Therefore, A is even then, okay, for some integer, that's B is true. Uh, therefore, uh, negative P is false, P is true. If uh, A and B are even, then they have at least one common factor. 
common factor eh? and then so the assumption r is contradicted eh? okay we have a common factor and then you contradict the okay contradict the uh, statement Okay, in a traditional logic, eh, basically when you want to contradict uh, a curse or happen when a proposition conflict either with itself or established fact, it is proposition that unconditional false. Example, a uh, contradictory proposition. Eh? Okay. Okay, for example, if a person uh, can express a contradiction, like the person who profess uh, it is uh, atheism, atheism is not a belief in God, yet uh, uh, every Sunday he goes to church okay, to contradict uh, with uh, it, uh, uh, dia punya pegangan dia. Okay, uh, macam uh, kamu kata, uh, if you say that you do not like uh, uh, discrete man but uh, eventually you have a registered uh, uh, discrete structure okay as uh, your major or minor nah. it is a contradict nah. uh, others uh, contradict uh, example is my sister is jealous of me because I am an only child Contradictory is related to verb contradict, lah, which means that say or do the opposite, lah, or contrary, mean which means to take the opposite. Lah. Okay, and then therefore, a negative P is false, a P is true. Lah. You contradict. Lah. Okay, and then uh, you can say that uh, uh, the power of two, uh, the source of two is uh, irrational, irrational, uh, it is true. Lah. Okay, uh, and then uh, here uh, indirect proof or implication, uh, P can uh, P can be uh, implies Q can be related as proof of contradiction. Lah. Assume both P uh, and negative Q are true, then use a direct proof to show that negative Q implies uh, negative P. Eh? Okay, and then uh, that leads to the contradiction. Okay, okay homework, tak buat. Okay, then uh, prove by cases, uh, break the premises, uh, P plus Q into equivalences, lah. then uh, we use the uh, equivalences, uh, okay, uh, each of the implications, uh, P I plus Q is a case, lah. then you must uh, convince the reader uh, the all possibilities and establish the all implications. Lah. Okay, uh, for example, uh, proof by cases, if n is an uh, integer and n uh, power of 2 uh, is positive, uh, p n is an uh, integer and then n power of 2 plus 1 is positive. Uh. Okay, you can prove uh, all of the cases uh, is true. Uh. And then uh, you have uh, proving the equivalences. Uh, to prove that uh, P uh, is equivalent to Q, you need to show that uh, P uh, uh, implies uh, by conditional Q is a tautology. Eh? Okay, you can do by showing that P implies Q and Q implies P are both true. Eh? Example, the integer N is odd if uh, only if, if N uh, power of 2 is odd. Eh? Okay, and then we have existential uh, proof or existence proof. Uh, to the proof of uh, existence x, p x is called existence proof. Eh? Uh, they divided into two: uh, constructive and non-constructive. Constructive existence proof to find to find the element uh, c in the universe of discourse. 
such that uh, PC is true, uh, you need to find the universe of this course. Uh. For non-constructive existing proof, do not find a C. Later, somehow prove that uh, for some act, P act is true. Generally, uh, you do by the contradiction uh, to prove that is a non-contradiction existing proof. Uh. Okay, uh, please do this uh, exercise. Uh, prove that M plus N and N uh, plus P are even integers. Then M plus P is even. Okay, and then uh, you do the exercise two. Lah. Okay, exercise one and exercise two. Okay, this one you do in the padlet. Lah. 